don't know what is going on, but they're pecking my hair. So last night, my husband sent me an article that blew my mind. It was really, I was, it was really exciting, and I think you're gonna love it, and I think you're gonna love it too. All right, you guys ready to do this? Hey everyone, I'm Renee, and welcome to Tater Town. Okay, yes, I'm a scientist and a nerd, and I can't help getting lost in things sometimes, but this article made me really happy and I wanted to share it with you. This is the article that piqued my interest. <laughs> now, the article talks about a study that's currently happening at Dalhousie University in Canada. It is not peer reviewed yet, uh, but the information that they, they've already got documented is pretty amazing. They're basically creating a translator for chicken speech. And what the researchers have said is that their algorithms are learning to recognize patterns and nuances in chicken vocalizations. And they're also working on learning to interpret chickens' emotional states. Are they stressed? Are they content? You know, all of those things. But then I started thinking, well, who else is working on this? Because come on, I mean, really? only one person working or one university working on this. So that led me to a scientific American study, um, an article that came out in 2017, which discussed the same type of technology being investigated by engineers and poultry scientists, both from the University of Georgia and the Georgia Institute of Technology or Georgia Institute of Technology. What are you doing? As a side note, I do find it interesting how both of these articles have the same tagline, foul language. Hmm. Maybe I'll use that somewhere too. So these researchers, they collaborated with farmers and they exposed chickens to different stressful situations and recorded their vocalizations. All of this in turn led me to two documentaries, one from the BBC and one from Scripps about similar work being done with other animals, namely elephants and bats. Yes, I absolutely love bats, so that was super exciting for me to hear. I even have a tattoo of bats. Now, I am fully aware that the topic of AI is controversial and I can certainly see a downside to the use of AI, but I can also see the positives that can come from it. Um, I believe something like this has the potential to improve animal welfare and treatment in, in farming practices and, and just in general. Um, and I, I, think, I think us as humans would love it too, uh, to be able to communicate with our animals. But the reality is, this type of technology is it's gonna take time to develop and perfect. It's not gonna happen overnight. And thankfully, I already have a good sense of how my chickens communicate and what they're trying to tell me. Um, I may not get it right 100% of the time, but uh, wouldn't it be great to know exactly what's going on with them and exactly what they're thinking? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you again for joining me here on Tatertown.